Hey, what's up? We are here in the warehouse and this video is a little bit different. A lot of you might know that I import things. I sell on Amazon and a lot of the things that I sell, I import. They're imports, they're from different countries. So is this. This drink right here is uh, Ulu da Gazaz. I might be saying that wrong. I probably am. And it's an orange soda orange pop for those of you in the Midwest like myself and we're gonna see how it tastes but before we do let's talk about it a little bit what is the legendary Uludag Gazaz coming from Turkey which is also the uh, national anthem you're currently listening to they uh, they say it's a formula that has been guarded as a secret within the family for four generations the legendary Uladag Gazaz, with assorted fruit flavoring, is produced from Uladag water and granulated sugar derived from sugar beet. One of the most important qualities of the legendary Uladag Gazaz is its renowned bottle that has stood the test of time. And that comes from their own website, so you know it's got to be true. What's Uladag, though? In Turkish, Uludag means Great Mountain, and that's exactly what it is. It's a mountaintop in northwest Turkey, renowned for skiing, hiking, tons of monasteries, rich flora and fauna, and spring water. Gallons, sorry, liters upon liters of spring water. And what do you do with spring water? You make gazaz out of it. What's Gazaz then? We know Uladag means it's water that's coming from this mountain peak in northwest Turkey. What's Gazaz? Gazaz is a French or Turkish word that kind of means old timey soda. So when they would take the soda water and the simple syrup or the, the sugar syrup and mix it together at kind of like a, an, old, an old soda jerk stand, that would be Gazaz. And so it's an old fashioned type of soda from the mountain. Moment of truth. Legendary Uladag Gazaz orange soda, 8.4 fluid ounces. Let's open this up. Small bottle, very small bottle. Looks like every orange soda I've ever had in my entire life. We gotta gently pour it out because it's like uh, it's like beer. You don't want too much carbonation. You want to slowly allow the liquid to fill in the receptacle. Not too much agitation. Oh, that's good. Wow, that's almost empty. Let's just empty it off. It's cold because, well, it's cold in my warehouse. It just got delivered to me. It's been in a freight truck for days. It's cold. I'm very excited. Let's drink this, or you watch me drink this. I'll make. I'll make as few mouth noises as possible. You know, this would be good with whiskey. What it is, is a little bit more citrusy. If you have like a lemon soda, uh, Italian lemon soda, you notice that it's a lot less sugary and more fruity or, or citrusy. A lot of that going on in here. I feel like it's got less sugar in it. Um, let me check the bottle. 25 and a half grams and 8.4 ounces. Probably not. Probably the same as like a Sprite or whatever. But it doesn't taste so so sugary and almost like to an extent sometimes when you have those very fake flavors, they give this this feeling of like a, a antiseptic taste. It's very inorganic. It's obviously just chemicals. And this has a tinge of organicness, of realness, of earth, a tinge. I haven't had this much pop, probably, without alcohol in years. You gotta do it like that so you can get every single taste bud hit. That's the other way. You use your lips as a aeration device. Mm. Those last two sips, they were so good. 
Those last two sips were the best sips I've had of this legendary drink. <laughs> oh, that was the best one yet. Down the wrong pipe. Maximum aeration. Mm, I breathed in those flavors. They were so good. All in all, I would rate this. Out of all the orange drinks I've had in my life, orange juice, orange juice with pulp, orange juice with the extra pulp, the list goes on. Out of all those drinks, I would say this is a, on a scale of like 0 to 10, 0 being like knockoff brand Tang that was made with milk. And 10 being like, if you drink it, there's just kill yourself because nothing else is going to be that good ever in your entire life. Between those two, a solid six. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new, most of my videos are not about tasting Turkish sodas. It's about things like making money using Amazon, FBA, using eBay, doing stuff like that to take what most people think is garbage and then selling it to others and making a lot of money, um, wholesaling stuff, developing business relationships, all that sort of stuff is what I usually focus on, but it gets lonely in this warehouse sometimes, and you got to make videos about drinking soda. Cheers. See you guys later. Mmm.